Praise you, the Lord. Certainly want to thank those for conducting our devotional service this morning. And this is another day that the Lord has made. You ought to be glad and rejoice, for the Lord is good. In his mercy and truth and doeth to all generations. And the Bible says, let the redeemer of the Lord say so, that the Lord is good. Anybody know the Lord good this morning? God has brought us one more time, and I said, thank you, Jesus, for all that you do and all that you will continue to do. Because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday. The same today and the same forever. We come to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye land, you are to serve the Lord with gladness. And come into his presence singing, know ye that the Lord, he is God. For it is he that has made us and we not ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. I say the earth is the Lord's pasture. We take care of us. We are to enter the gate with thanksgiving and his court with praise. We are to bless the Lord again because the Lord is good. And his mercy and truth do it to all generations. Thank God for mercy this morning. Thank God for grace this morning. It's everlasting from everlasting to everlasting. You ought to tell God thank you. You ought to pray the Lord. You ought to tell the Lord thank you. Lord, we give you glory this morning for all your goodness and all your mercy. For God has brought us from a mighty long way. As the psalmist said, if it had not been for the Lord on our side, where would we be this morning? God is good. And we give him all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. We are about to close out the last Sunday in the month of June, which is half of the year is already gone. Time is moving, but God is keeping us as time moves. And so we tell the Lord, thank you. We're going to ask the congregation now for a selection, and we will just proceed on with our worship experience this morning. Come to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth.
Scripture can identify by saying amen. amen. To God be the glory. The word of the living God began reading in the Gospel of Matthew, the fourth chapter. We will begin reading with the twelfth verse. Now, when Jesus had heard that John was cast into prison, he departed into Galilee. And leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is upon the coast in the borders of Zebulun and Nephilim, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, The land of Zebulun and the land of Nephilim, by the way of the sea, beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. The people which sat in darkness saw great light, and to them which sat in the region and shadow of death, light is sprung up. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they straightly left their nets and followed him. And going on from thence, he saw other two brethren, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, in a ship with Zebedee, their father men in their nets and he called them and they immediately left their ship and their father and followed him we rest there with the reading of the word of the living god for every listening ear and every receiving heart we ought to have a receiving heart always to the word of god and we always should have a listening ear for the Bible says, he that hath an ear to hear, let them hear what the Spirit says to the church. In all of this, Jesus said, for it is written, and man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Brothers and sisters, oh how we need the eternal word of God within our mind, heart, and soul. We rest there. And we'll be led in prayer now by Reverend Austin. Hey, yeah, 
come together in unity. Give us the privilege of prayer. Let us bow, children. If we ever need prayer, now is the time that we really do need it. Our Father, our Creator, come Master, humble as you know how no form of fashion, neither do outside your Come because we have decided to follow Jesus. Thank you for this opportunity. Jesus said, come unto me all that are heavy led. We come, Master, because we are heavy led. This morning, trouble is on every hand. Come because we are in the midst of chaos and we need a better understanding. We come, we come because we need help on this journey. Oh God, please, our Father. Come because we got problems, our Father. We got sickness that we, we, we cannot find a solution for. We come because we believe that you got all our power. Have mercy upon them this morning. The sick and afflicted, our Father, those less fortunate than we are. We ask you to breathe on here, oh God. Please turn and listen to and see that. Oh God, please listen to the cry this morning. We come calling on you. Oh, we have missed the mark. Oh God, we come anyway. Ask you to forgive us for our shortcoming. Oh God, we are children who are involved in conversation and hurting. Worthy of your children. Forgive us, Master. Please turn and listen in. Look in on this fish. Those are fortunate that we are. We come, our Father, because we need Jesus in every other event. In every other event is in Baptist Church. Young adults need you. The senior choir need you. Oh, God, please. Trustee needs you now. Need you to fix things that they cannot fix themselves. Oh, God, please. We need help on this Christian journey. Have mercy this morning. Oh, God, please. Remember those down in Florida, those whose family have been destroyed in that building. Oh, God, please. Come and damn if it be right if I will. Oh, God, please. Bind up their broken heart. Oh, God, please. Why the way they tell with your loving kind. Let them know that you're in charge, you're in charge. Oh, God, please, our Father. Remember our pastor now. Love him about every lead in the corner. Don't let him get the car. Leave you in a car, man. Tell him, my father. Guide him, my father. Speak to him, to your children. Oh, God, please. Now, master, let your spirit run down the aisle. Take heed to every one of your children. Let them feel you are my present. Let them know you is in there, you is there. Oh God, please, in the name of Jesus, breathe on your children now. Breathe on the musician. Breathe, our Father. Breathe on us. We need you to breathe. Need on us that we have life to praise you. No matter what circumstance may be, we will still praise you. In the name of Jesus, we pray to be after you. Amen. 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 Amen.
remember me. Yes, sir. Yes. I said, remember me. Yes. Anybody want to be remembered? Yes. I said, anybody want to be remembered? Yes. The trouble around. Yes. Oh, the trials and tribulations is trying to overtake you. Yes. When burdens are heavy on your shoulder, yes. the sickness attack your body. Yes. I said, Lord, yes. remember me. Yes. Remember me. Amen. That was the thief cry. In his dying hour on the cross, he saw Jesus. Jesus didn't look like a savior because Jesus was in the same situation that he was. But he, he saw something different. When they taunted Jesus and mocked Jesus, but when death began to choke him, yeah, when, 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 when his life flashed before his face, yeah, and that last breath about to overtake him, he cried out, Lord. Remember me. Amen. And so we need the Lord yes, to remember us. Amen. I thank God he remembered us this morning. Oh, yes. Because it was the Lord that woke us up this morning. Yes. It was not the alarm clock. Yes, it was not your sister or your brother. Oh. Or your husband or your wife or your daughter or your son. Amen. I said it was Jesus. Amen. I said it was Jesus. Amen. Touch you. Your figure of love this morning. And say rise up. Yes. I'm giving you another day to live on this earth. Amen. Many don't believe that, but somebody laid down last night. Yeah. And if you were the calling man, yeah. they couldn't answer. But God shed mercy on us and give us another chance. I say it's the Lord. So Lord, remember me. Every day, Lord, remember me. Certainly want to thank Reverend Austin for that prayer. I want to thank the musician for that core in the congregation, that core response. Lord, remember me. Anything that we can have the Lord presence among us. Yes, we need the Lord presence among us because the Bible says where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. I say, where God moving in place, uh, there's your blessing. There's your breakthrough. You ought to grab hold of it and say, Lord, whatever I need at that time, bless me with it, Lord. If I need healing, heal my body. Yeah. If I need deliverance, if I, if I got a son lost or, or a daughter bound, yes. yeah, as God's spirit is moving, yes. there's liberty in the house. Yes. Your blessing is in the house. If your heart is hit, that's the time to cry out to the Lord. For the Bible says where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. Do you believe that today? Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for being among us. For the Lord has promised where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst. It's good. When you can come to the Lord's house and feel his presence yeah. among people. But you don't have to be the Lord's house to feel his presence now. Yeah, I, I feel his presence all on the job. Yeah. Along the highway in the body. And in my home. Sometimes in my backyard. I'm yeah. lifting up the name of Jesus. I can feel the anointing every now and then. You don't have to have a crowd to feel the presence of the Lord. Anybody is a witness of that? Anybody is a witness of that? Oh, I didn't feel that all week, but I thank God that I'm growing in religion. I can feel God moving. I said, I can feel God moving. Even now, again. you ought to try Jesus. The Bible's old tears to see that the Lord is good, sweeter than honey on a honeycomb. Bless the name of Jesus. We're going to ask the congregation for a selection, and after that selection, with the Lord help me stand before you. With thus says the Lord, it is in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, you're welcome in this place. Yeah. Holy Spirit, you're welcome oh, in this place. Yeah. Holy Spirit, you're welcome oh, yeah. in this place. Holy Spirit, you're welcome. Oh. 
until you come, Lord. In this Jesus. Jesus. 
Oh, when the church finally realizes how much we need the Holy Ghost. Oh, when we find out how much we need the Holy Ghost. Then we'll be on fire for the Lord. But we need the Holy Ghost. Oh, when the church learns that we need the Holy Spirit. When the church begin to ask, Lord, fill me with the Holy Ghost. Fill my mind. Fill my soul with the Holy Ghost. Let me find out that we need the Holy Ghost. Jesus. Mm. Our teacher, God, counselor, our comforter, keeper, and the power of the church. Oh, when the church find out how much you need the Holy Ghost. Jesus said he needed. He told the disciples, wait for the promise of my father and you will be down with power. That's what we need. We need God's power. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. For me. Thank you, Jesus. Begin reading in the gospel according to Matthew, the fourth chapter, beginning with the 18th verse. And Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter, and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. Let's read verse 19 together. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they scraped and left their nets and followed him. 
and going on from thence, he saw other two brethren, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, in a ship with Zebedee, their father, mending their nets. And he what? Called them. The 22nd verse, let's read it together. And they immediately left their ship and their father and followed him. Good God Almighty. Jesus does what he says. For in that 19 verse, let's read the verse 19 again. Let us begin. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. If you follow me, I will make you. Jesus does what he says. That's our thought today. Subject, however, but that's our thought. Jesus does what he says. Let us pray. Thou art eternal Father, Lord, we bless your name. We exalt your name. We lift up your name in praise. For you so worthy to receive all glory. All honor and praise. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. Lord, we feel so unworthy to claim your word. But as you call the disciples, yes. so it is that you call me, Lord. Yes. And through the years, I find out that Jesus yes. does what he says. Yes. Yes. So, Lord, now we surrender. This preach word to you and the power of the Holy Ghost. Surrender our mind, our soul, our heart, our spirit. We give it all to you, Lord. We surrender it to you that you might become the preacher and the teacher, Lord, as you guide us into all truth, Lord. Thank you for the word. And thank you for this word today, Lord. We know and believe and trust that you're able to do just what you say, Lord. Because you got all power, Lord. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted in thy sight, O oh Lord, thy strength. And thy redeemer set a watch before my mouth. Please, Lord, keep the door of my lips. We ask it all in no other name but the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, Savior, and Redeemer. Amen. Amen. Yes. Able to
They're talking about some kind of new strain already on the rise. It has eased up some, but still not over. With violence acts reported every day in our communities and all over our nation, with the school boards still trying to figure out ways to reopen our schools safely this fall to educate our children who've made so many adjustments in the last 15 to 16 months. Yeah. Our children along with parents and school teachers in the last 15 to 16 months have made a lot of adjustments yeah. trying to obtain an education. With all the problems that we face on a daily basis, with everyone trying and hoping to get back to a normal way of life. Yeah. I've come today with the help of the Holy Ghost and in the name of Jesus Christ to help us, to encourage us, to help us and awaken our faith in God. Yeah. Oh, brothers and sisters, with all the problems that we are facing today, I say our faith need to be awakened in God. Yeah. In God, I say. For the word of God says in Mark, the 10th chapter, and the 27th verse, with men, with men it is impossible, but not with God. Amen. For with God all things are possible. Yes. Listen, listen, today in our society, too many of us are leaving God out of our plan. Yes. But God is who we need in our plans in our everyday life. Or yes, oh, Jesus said to his disciples in Mark, the 11th chapter, 22nd through the 24th verse, he says, have faith in God. Yes. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever sit in this mountain, be a mountain, be thou move and cast in the midst of the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe what he has said, he would have Whatever he has said, wherefore when you pray, believe you receive them, yes. and you shall have them. Yes. Listen, there is some mountains, problems, situation before us today, and to move the mountains. Yeah. Jesus says, have faith yeah. in God. Yeah. Oh, this pandemic is a tremendous mountain. For it disrupted everything in our society. Some may be, some may be asking the question, why listen to Jesus? Well, Jesus does what he says. The other question is how, the other question is how to obtain such faith in God. Romans, the 10th chapter, and the seventh verse says, Faith cometh by hearing, yeah. and hearing yeah. by the word of God. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, our faith in God increases as we hear the truth of the gospel, the good news message of Jesus Christ. Yeah. As we hear God's word, receive his word, and believe in his word, be obedient to his word. That is apply the word of God to your everyday life. Live by it. Put it into practice every day. Then our faith in God will increase. For Jesus does what he says. Listen, listen, Hebrews 11 chapter and the 6 verse says without faith it is impossible to please God. He that come to him must believe that he is God, yes, sir. and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. Or oh, if we seek after the Lord, and I'm not talking about one time, I'm talking about a continuous effort. I'm talking about our life relationship with the Lord, seeking after God day and night, noon, 
midnight or early in the morning, on your job, off the job, uh, around your family, cooking dinner, serving dinner, washing your clothes, or whatever you're doing, seek out the Lord. Yes. He will reward you doing that diligent, meaning like an endless effort of seeking yes. after the Lord. What is fear? Webster, Webster describes fear as confident belief in the truth, value or trust, worthiness of a person, idea or thing. Belief not based on logical proof or material evidence. That is very close to what the Bible says about fear. Except one thing makes the difference. And the difference is a Christian faith, a child of God faith, is and should be in God completely and not mankind or things. Amen. For things in mankind are known to let you down. Yes. Disappoint, disappoint you, give out on you, and break your heart. That old automobile yeah, uh, give out every now and then. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I got in one of my automobiles yeah, the other day, and, and the battery was dead. Yeah, yeah they break down on you every now and then. Yes, sir. Material things decay yes. and loses its value. Yes. Oh, but God, yes. I say God yes. is eternal, yes. and the Lord is even James, the fourth chapter and the 14th verse, put this question before us. It says, uh, what is your life? Amen. James says, even a vapor that appears for a little while time yes. and then it vanishes away. Yeah, what I'm saying or what James is saying, we are here today and tomorrow uh, we could be gone. Oh, yeah. oh praise the Lord. Because our life uh, is just like a vapor. Yeah. yeah, a smoke. Just like a puff. Yeah. And it vanishes away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, when this uh, life leaves the body, uh, it just leaves uh, the corpus. Uh, yeah, yeah you, you see, uh, the body without the spirit uh, is dead. Uh, yeah, uh, listen, even our life... Uh, depends on Jesus Christ. Yeah. For John, the first chapter, third through the fourth verse says, uh, all things were made by him. And, yeah. and without him uh, was not anything made that was made. And in him was life, uh, and he is uh, the life of man. Uh, yeah. Why not uh, trust Jesus? Uh, for in him is our life. Uh, yeah. We have our being. Uh, and our movement, uh, it is he that woke us uh, up this morning uh, and started us uh, on our way. Uh, oh, praise the Lord. Uh, life moves uh, by Jesus Christ. Uh, the Bible also gives us a definition of faith. Uh, and that definition of faith uh, is found in Hebrews, the 11th chapter and the first verse. It says, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not yet seen. True faith, my brothers and sisters, is not based on the things that is seen, but on the assurance and confidence that God will do just what he says. Even though it has not materialized yet, you can't see it yet, the believer's faith in Jesus Christ, uh, it will come to pass. Uh, it's on the way. Uh, the substance uh, is not here yet, uh, but uh, it's on the way. Uh, the job uh, that I've been praying for uh, is not here yet, but uh, as a child of God, uh, I know I serve uh, Jehovah Jireh. Uh, the Lord uh, will provide. Uh, the money... Uh, to pay my bills uh, yeah. is not here yet, uh, but I know it's coming. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm a womb. Then I'm working hard to obtain one day. It's not here yet, but it's going to come. And the career that I'm studying for, the education or the automobile that I need, is not here yet, but I know God as a child of God. I know the Lord is going to give it to me. I'm sick, but I'm crying out to Jesus. And I know my healing, my breakthrough, my turnaround, yeah, a positive change in my life that I've been praying for, relief from a broken heart, and I need burdens lifted off my shoulder. My faith is in God, that it will come. I know the Lord is going to come to see about me. It can come right now. It can come tomorrow. It can come soon. It can come months or years from now. Or on God's appointed time. For he knows just how much I can be. Yeah. Oh, yes, he does. I say the Lord knows just how much I can stand. How much I can bear. Jesus is never late. I say Jesus is never late. He's always on time. Oh, praise the Lord. Yeah. Mary and Martha will tell you in John 11 chapter. Yeah, Jesus is always on time. He never lived. Our brother died and it was four days in the grave. We thought it was all over. But when Jesus came, yeah, Mary told her, I know. Yeah, Martha told her, I know if you were here, my brother would not have died. But I know, Jesus said, your brother shall live again. Martha said, I know in the resurrection and the last day. Yeah, Jesus said, Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believed in me, even though he's dead yet, shall he live. And he that liveth and believeth in me shall never die. And he marched down to the graveside of Lazarus, and he called Lazarus by his name. They never lived. He's always on time. Even if somebody died, he's able to raise them up. Lazarus come forth, and he that was dead came forth. And Jesus said, loose the man. Oh, praise the Lord. Jesus does what he says. Come, my brothers and sisters, for Jesus is a wonder. I say the Lord is a wonder. Isaiah, the eagle-eyed prophet, said in Isaiah, the ninth chapter, in the sixth verse, Isaiah said, Isaiah said, he shall be called wonderful, counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, and the prince of peace. Jesus is wrapped up in all those names. Wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, the ancient of days, and he is the Prince of Peace. Yeah. In this fourth chapter of Matthew, Jesus begins his ministry. And the ministry of Jesus is an act of service that leads the, the lost into the kingdom of God. And along with teaching and preaching, healing and aiding the poor and counseling and Casting out devils. Jesus is a wonder. Well, now in the 18 verses, and Jesus walking by the Sea of Galilee saw two brethren, Simon called Peter, yeah, and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea for they were fishermen. Yeah, they made the living by fishermen. And he said to them, follow me, and I will make you fishers 
of men. Jesus does what he says. And they scrape me. Scrape me mean immediately. Left their nets and followed. His call was a powerful call. So powerful. Power and authority. So powerful. Two brothers left their fishing business. Left their jobs. They left their income. They left their way of living. Yeah, to become soul winners for God. And going on from there, going on from thence, he saw the two brethren, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, in a ship with Zebedee, their father. They ain't business together along with their father. And they were mending their nets, yeah, preparing for another fishing trip. But Jesus called them, and the 22nd verse says, and they immediately left their ship. They left the ship and their father, yeah, and followed him. Oh, brothers and sisters, this took faith. It took a lot of faith. It was bold faith. It was saving faith. It was faith without any doubt. Yeah, they left their father and they left their business, but they were walking with God on earth. Oh, this was an exciting time for the disciples. Can you imagine walking on earth with God? Walking on earth with the creator of heaven and earth. Walking with the one that is invincible. They were walking with the one that was invincible. Oh, praise the Lord. Walking with the one that was omnipotent. He had all power in heaven and earth. Walking with the one with omniscient. He had all knowledge. How the sun comes up in the east and set in the west. He had knowledge. How the bird was empowered to fly. He had knowledge. And he knew all the marine creatures in the sea. He had knowledge of how many hair on our head. They were walking around with the one that is omniscient. They couldn't hide anything from their heart from the Lord. The Lord knew them completely and he knew us completely. They were walking around with the one that was omnipresent. The one that can walk on the ocean floor and he don't need no oxygen. He can walk on the ocean floor and he won't be home. He can walk on the ocean floor and he still know what's going on in China, in Africa, in South America. Oh, praise the Lord. And he is the one that is in the heart of all those that believe. I tell you, he was walking around with God for if anyone that believes God, he'll come in your heart now with the Holy Spirit, yet he's sitting on the right hand of the Father, he's over there, yeah, in India, yeah, he's over there, over in Russia, even though they don't acknowledge God, he's everywhere at the same time, but I'm glad that he's in my heart, walking around with me, oh, praise the Lord, they were walking around with Alpha and the Omega. They were walking around with El Shaddai, God Almighty, here on earth. They were walking around with the Norman Esau, the one that will fight your battle. They were walking around with the Holy Shalom, the one that can quiet in his storm. This was an exciting time for the disciples. Oh, praise the Lord. Notice, notice these disciples did not make any excuses. They did not make any excuses, but was motivated by the call 
of Jesus. So many people today miss their blessings because they are loaded down with excuses. Yeah, yeah, somebody made some excuse this morning, but God is able. Yeah, I don't have time, but folks forget who's keeping them. They're not keeping themselves, but somebody got an excuse this morning why they won't come in the Lord's house. Yeah, but God been too good to me. Oh, praise the Lord. Brought me from a mighty long way. Brought me all the last year on my job, off the job. I said, Jesus is keeping me alive and coming out of the blood. I got to serve him. I got to pray in the name because the Lord been too good. He's been too good. But somebody is making an excuse. I don't have time. But time is not on your side. Time is never on our side. We cry out for those down in Florida. Yeah, didn't know what was going to happen to them. And the building crushed down on them. Nobody know. Time is not on our side. Oh, praise the Lord. Some believe they are not worthy. But 1 John 1 and 9 says that if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Some believe they are not good enough. But Jesus, yeah, out on a cross in a dying hour save a thief that would tease him and mock at him but the thief had a change of heart yeah when the thief cried out Lord remember me yeah when you come into your kingdom and the Bible said Jesus this day yeah thou shalt be with me in paradise yeah, God so does the word that he gives his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. We all, yeah, in the eyesight of God is worthy enough to be saved. Some would even say, I'm not ready. But Jesus tells us in Matthew 24 and 44, he said, Therefore, we have to be also ready for in such an hour that you think not the Son of Man coming. I said, Jesus is coming again. Coming for a church without spot or wrinkle. No man nor the day nor the hour but Jesus, some say I'm not ready, but Jesus is coming again. Jesus does what he said. The disciples by faith came to Jesus when he called. And Jesus took ordinary men. He took farmers, tax collectors, and fishermen to build his church. It started with faith and it's going to end with faith. Revelation 2 and 10 says, Be thou faithful unto death and thou receive a crown of life. These disciples became apostles, was given a reputation. They had a reputation of turning the world upside down with the gospel because so many souls were saved. Peter, on the day of Pentecost, after he was filled with the Holy Ghost, preached and 3,000 souls were saved. They were turning the world upside down. People were running to Jesus. People was coming on the Lord's side, becoming sons and daughters of God. Jesus told them, come and I'll make you fishermen of men. Oh, 
Lord Jesus does what he says. The question is asked, who is Jesus? That he's able to do what he says. Well, John, the first chapter, and the first verse says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And the 14th verse says, the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. That is the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And Philip, yeah, who asked Jesus in John 14 and 8, yeah, Philip said, Lord, show us the Father. Jesus, Philip, have I been with you so long term that you don't know the Father? I'm in the Father, and the Father is in me. If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. The works that I do, the Father in me is doing the work. How you ask me to show you the Father? Yeah, the Father is in me. Yeah, and I am in the Father. I and the Father are one. Oh, praise the Lord. Jesus said in John 10 and 30 that I and my Father is one. So Jesus is God himself, the Father himself. He is the one that told Noah, Noah, build a lot, Noah, because it's going to rain. Oh, praise the Lord. He is the one that told Abraham, if you leave your country, I'll bless you going out, and I'll bless you coming here. He is the one that told Moses, Moses, go down to Egypt and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. If you don't let them go, I'm going to send signs and wonders and pestilence. And he's going to be forced to let my people go. Oh, praise the Lord. He is the one that came to give us the eternal life. Jesus is the one that came to give us the abundant life. Jesus does what he says. He is the one that can save you, deliver you, heal you, redeem you, and set your soul free. Jesus, 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 Jesus is the one that can give your soul rest. He's calling you. Come the enemy. Oh, you that live, and I will give you rest. Jesus does what he said. Told a man born blind, go down and wash in the pool that's alone. Oh, praise the Lord. Told a lame, pick up your bed and walk. That's Jesus. He does what he says. He told him to start his body, to start his temple, and I we raised it up uh, on the third day and they took the rip uh, and they ripped him uh, till the flesh came off his bone. Uh, they put a crown of bone uh, on his head. Uh, oh, praise the Lord. Uh, put an old rugged uh, cross on his shoulder. Blood uh, running down from the throne. Blood uh, running down from his body. All down uh, through the streets of Jerusalem. Uh, his rib craze was shown. Uh, his eternal let him up on that hill and draw nails in his hand. They were trying to destroy the body. They laid him in a cold, cold grave after he died. But early, I said, early, Jesus, that's what he said. Early, early, early. On the third day morning, he rose with all power. I said, Jesus, that's what he said. He anointed me. He filled me with the Holy Ghost and commissioned me to preach His word. He's bending me every step of the way. Sometimes up, sometimes I'm down, sometimes I'm lied on, sometimes I'm misunderstood. But Jesus has kept His hand on me. Oh, praise the Lord. And He'll do the same for you. If you come on the Lord's side, He'll heal you, He'll save you. He'll deliver you. He'll make a way for you. He'll cover you under his blood. Because Jesus does what he said. The word of God will not return.
Jesus does what he says. Instructions 
of God's word and believe in our heart. Be godly sorry for the wrong and the sin that we have committed and be willing to repent of that sin with the Lord help. And God does the work. He is the one that does the changing. He is the one that does the molding and the shaping and give you the strength to walk away from whatever has you bound. Or whatever you can't break away from. God is able. And the Lord does what he says. He says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man, woman, boy, girl hear my voice and will open up his heart, I'll come in. I'll sup with him and he with me. Would you do that at this hour? If you have not surrendered your life over to Jesus, would you do that at this hour? Would you come and receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior? The Bible says, Come on now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Even though your sin be like scarlet, come white as snow. Even though it's red like crimson, come white as wool. God is able. If you do that, and you watch him, if you open up your heart and receive Jesus Christ, do it now. And upon doing that, as early as possible, Find a Bible-believing church that teaches the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And join up with the body of believers. But give your heart over to the Lord. Yeah. Let us pray. Lord, we come before thy presence. Yeah, Lord. Knowing that you do exactly what you say. For all the promises of God in him, yea. And in him, amen. We thank you, Lord. Not one jot, not one little tittle will no way pass away from the Lord until all be fulfilled. Every word that you've spoken, Lord, you will see to it that it will come to pass. Because, Lord, you do exactly what you say. Some of us, Lord, are heavy burden. But you said, I will give you rest. Some of us, Lord, in a storm. But you are Jehovah Shalom that cries out, peace be still. Some might be sick right now, but you were wounded for our transgression and bruised for our iniquities and the chest tied in our peace with upon you, Lord. And by your stripes and through your stripes, Lord, we heal, we believe and claim it this morning in the name of Jesus. Somebody might be plagued with cancer somebody might be plagued there god jesus with high blood pressure somebody might be diabetic or there's a kidney problem somewhere in the name of jesus but god you able lord and by your stripes we just speak healing lord we speak the word hey, you already put all of our infirmities in your body on a tree that we might be dead to sin and alive to righteousness by your stripes lord we speak healing lord healing in the mind healing in the soul healing the spirit and healing in the physical body lord we speak it in the name which we believe it we claim it and kind of done lord we know you're able we know you got all power lord you are a burden lifter lord and oh my lord down in florida lord will the building collapse lord in the name of jesus so many can't be found but oh lord have mercy lord have mercy jesus work it out lord oh grant peace upon the family grant comfort upon the family touch their hearts so me uh, that they might dare God look to the hills uh, for with come with our help uh, our help come from the Lord uh, which made heaven and earth uh, Lord we need you like never before uh, in our communities uh, in our families uh, in government Lord all over the world uh, we need you Lord uh, in the name of Jesus we can't do it by ourselves uh, we need the Holy Ghost uh, we need power from heaven Lord uh, you're the only one uh, that has the answer Lord uh, because the word of God says, uh, except the Lord build a house, uh, the living vain that build it, uh, except the Lord keep the city, uh, the watchman wicked but in vain. Uh, Lord, we need you uh, to keep our house, uh, our mind, body, 
soul and spirit. We need you, Jesus, to keep our families, to keep our marriages, to keep our children, Lord. We need you to keep our communities. We need you, Lord. As we travel up and down the highway, we need you, Jesus, at the step that we take, Lord. We need you every the heartbeat, Lord. We need you, Jesus. When we lay down our head at night, when we travel the Lord, we need you on our jobs and off our jobs. We need you, Lord, because we don't know where danger is. So we need the shepherd that he might guide us, Lord. Have mercy upon us. Forgive us for our sins and all our transgressions. Oh, we're calling on you, Lord. We're calling on you because you are evil. We're calling on you, Lord, because you got all power. We call on you, Lord, because we believe. We call on you, Lord, because the Bible says, cast all our cares, all our worries, all our frustration upon you. So we call on Jesus, our Savior, our Deliverer, our Healer, our Waymaker, our Bridge of the Water. Call on Jesus, call on Jesus, call on Jesus. In your name, Lord. In your name, Lord. We thank you, Lord. And we reclaim the victory. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen.
everybody yeah. ought to know who Jesus is. Because Jesus does what he says. He does what he says. To God be the glory. We're not going to keep you. We thank God for you. And may heaven smile upon you. And may the Lord continue to keep and watch over us day by day. And he's able if you call upon him because he does exactly what he says. In the name of Jesus. Let the church say amen.